chandeliers. Sorry. If anybody knows, I'm still trying to figure out how to kill the dying goat. My singing is beautiful. So we are back for another video today and today we are at Aqua Studio in the Colony, Texas and we're gonna be picking up some new plants because the black water tank, as much as I love the black water tank, the black water itself is going to be removed. We're gonna replant the tank and kind of break it down and build it back up because I really wanna be able to see it and I want some color added from the plants perspective and things of that nature and what happens is, is it gets so dark in there that you guys cannot see the fish and I can't see the fish and I don't like that part of it. We're gonna tear it down, rebuild it with the same hardscaping. The plants will remain, but we're gonna add some new plants. The water's gonna be perfectly crystal clear and we're gonna get a new plant light for it. So let's check this out. And old Brenton here, he has bought, you wanna show everybody real quick what you have? A dogfish, no, I thought it was a Eastern Diamondback Rattlefish. That, that will bite you. Biting Eastern Diamondback Rattlefish. Look at that. Oh. Yep. All right, so what we're gonna pick up today is some of this stuff, but we don't know what any of this stuff really is. So we're gonna have to ask somebody, like right now. Come on, you, you're gonna tell us. You don't even know. You don't know either, do you? I, I don't know if this stuff you might have to ask. <laughs> <laughs> Let's look on that thing here. Let's see. Wisteria. All right, so we're gonna get a stock of wisteria. We're gonna get a stock of something else that's back here. We're gonna take this red fern looking kind of thing here. We're gonna take one of these green ones and a couple of more. So let's check this out. Perfect, yep. All right, so what else do we want? We got the wisteria and then I got this red kind of fern looking thing here. Mayaka. Mayaka. Yeah, so I got the red one. Yeah, I got both of those. One of those is one of the names and one's the other one. I gotcha. So yeah, it looks like you've got wisteria. And this this could be something different, but that's it came wrapped up with the wisteria. I gotcha. So I just kind of assumed that like maybe the different part of the plant or sure. something like that. Maybe that's been growing out of water. But yeah, so that's what that is. And then this is that Mayaka. I think it's I think that's how you pronounce it. Mandarin. M-A-Y-A-C-A. -A -A. Mayaka. Sounds good to me. Mayaka, yeah. So all right, and then I want some of this red stuff. You have I know, I know that I got this one. I cannot pronounce that name. I know that I got that one. Bronchiosaurus. Let's do these bigger ones right here. These bushy kind of things. And then what is this one that's like right there? That shorter red one. Yeah. So yeah, let's take one of those. This one here, and then that one there. I don't know why I'm getting all this stuff. It's all gonna die on me anyway. Like everything else. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if there's anything else in here that I haven't gotten yet. <laughs> I mean, it's just... He's red one over here? Yeah, sure. It's a good problem yeah. to have. Yeah, sure. Why not? Why not? Yeah, maybe that one in the back, it looks a little taller, maybe. Actually, they're about the same. Yeah, I'll take the one you just pulled. That one there. Perfect. Don't know what that's called, but we're going to figure it out. It's a mystery. It's a mystery. So basically, everything in this tank is easy to take care of. Everything in this tank is really hard to take care of. Okay, well, let's, that's what I'm going to take today. All right, guys, I am back at the house. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to dismantle this black water tank. We're actually going to rescape it and add some additional plants to it. I want to get rid of the dark water so I can see inside of this tank and really kind of clean it up and actually change kind of the way it looks in here. So definitely stay tuned for that. Let's take a look at the plants I bought. So I bought a few different plants. They're currently sitting in the 100 gallon. I will go through and talk about what these are later on. I have them written down. I really don't know a lot about aquatic plants. What I do know is what I have here, or at least what the guys told me where I bought it was. These are very low maintenance. They don't necessarily need a lot of CO2 and fertilization and things like that. So we're gonna try these out and see how these work out. Let's get this tank rubbed down and rescaped real quick. Okay, so I have relocated all of the neon tetras out of here. Those have been relocated to the guppy breeding tank because they'll only be in there for about 15 minutes. The water temperature is the same. Everything is pretty much the same. I have relocated all the plants and the wood piece into here. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and relocate this better for a minute so yeah let's go ahead and get this started okay so we have the tank cleaned out i have the substrate cleaned out i did not clean it out with water i don't want to get rid of all the good bacteria that's in it and i just got rid of all the old plant matter and anything like that as well as kind of just pick through all of it and got it all done so what we're going to do here is we are actually going to kind of rescape this so before i do that i need to get the hardscaping done so i'm going to push all this over to the side get my limb back in here and all of those kinds of things so yeah, stay tuned. So what we have is we have a little kind of walking path kind of thing that looks like this, where it kind of goes up towards the back of the tank. It actually elevates as it goes back towards this corner. So there's a little stepping kind of stone right here. It's just kind of, it 
I don't know, just to make it look a little different. So now what we're gonna do is go ahead and put the plants in and then fill this thing back up with water. Okay, so I got the plants in here. We have a couple of plants over here along the path up to the back, back here. And then right here we have a plant. So we got all the plants in, time to start filling this thing with water. So let's see how this turns out. All right, guys. Hey Google, turn the glow tank blue. You got it, changing glow tank to blue. Okay, so we have finished rescaping the 10 gallon black water tank. We have added a bunch more plants, or new plants rather. Completely changed kind of the look of it. The, the wood sticking up out of the top still looks the same, but the water is going to be crystal clear and we're gonna change the lighting that's on it for these plants. So I wanted to at least show you what that looks like now that I've gotten that done. So let's take a look. Now I will tell you that when it's nighttime, we will look at this again, but we have three plants on this side, three plants on this side, and then what you have here in this middle is you actually have a, a path that goes up all the way to the back around the tree and then terminates in the back back there that you really can't see. I just thought it was a cool little thing. I've seen it in a couple of other videos by people where they scape out these kind of like creek bed kind of looking things or these walking paths just to make it really kind of just appealing to the eye. I like the way it looks. I want to add some more neon tetras to this. The beta is doing just fine with the neon tetras. They always stay back down here underneath the filter and kind of under this tree and bettas don't typically move around the bottom of the tank very much so they very much stay away from each other and what i was reading is as long as you break up the sight line for a betta inside of their tank where meaning things like this where you have multiple plants or you have driftwood or what have you where they cannot see from one point of the tank to another point of the tank so this is perfectly broken up the betta has plenty of surface area to cover he will also probably be up inside of these plants up in the top here because that's where he likes to hang out just like this bed over here see how this bed is like all up in the roots and stuff in this plant he is co-chilling he likes you to pet him which is kind of weird um the, i've never had a fish that likes to be pet but he literally will come up that blue one will come up to you in the tank and let you rub on its on its side so anyway but yeah this tank needs to cycle for just a little bit we went ahead and added some fritz beneficial bacteria to this tank so it could go ahead and cycle quickly i can go ahead and add fish to this now i need this water temperature to rise just a little bit it's a little cooler than what they're used to as well as i want some of this cloudiness to go away i also added because of this substrate the substrate definitely releases some color the driftwood still releases a little bit of the tannins uh, just simply because it's been sitting in water that had tannins in it so i went ahead and added a carbon filter to this tank and that filter is actually way back here in the back you can't see it i've got it hidden back here right here behind the stick so you can't see the filter which i like and that carbon filter will actually filter out all the tannins as well as get this tank crystal clear here pretty quick so we'll check back on this thing in a little bit i gotta go help out peggy with something uh, which will be coming in a later video but hopefully you guys enjoy this tank i really like the way this setup has turned out as well the betta is in a cup system right now it's got you know a little bit of flow and some aeration to it because i also need to acclimate the fish to this new water one of the things that tannins do is actually naturally lower the ph and they can lower them over time you know pretty significantly Significantly. So over time, these fish have gotten used to a much, much lower pH, a, a higher acidic water. The pH is basically the acidity of the water. So these really need to acclimate. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start moving some of this and doing kind of a cup acclimation for these fish into this new tank. So to start with right now, what we have is the betta that's going to go in here. So he's going to be moved in there first. I have moved the six neon tetras into the breeding tank just temporarily those are going to be moved as well and acclimated they are completely staying to themselves which they are over here there they are right there they're staying at the bottom no issues everybody looks good in here they're not messing around with the guppies or anything like that we have some really pregnant guppies i am telling you now these things are so pregnant i'm going to show you one of these so look at how pregnant this thing is do you see that? You can see the babies right there on the side of her. So she is huge. You can see the baby right there on the side, on both sides. So she should be giving birth at any point now. And once she does, we will go ahead and move those guys over to the grow up tank, which you can see, look at how cute they are. Aw, they're getting so big. And then we have the little babies that are in there too. So we have tons and tons of baby guppies that are going on in here. These will be moved to a proper tank soon because they're almost big enough. 
and I think for our grow up tank, we may be building another one, something similar to this, where we can put them in there. We may be actually doing a full planted tank, just planted, nothing else, just some plants and a bunch of male and female guppies, because it, it can be a grow out tank on its own. If you have enough plants in there, those baby guppies can hide until they're big enough that the mothers and the fathers will not eat them, because as you've seen in a previous video of mine, that the guppies are cannibalistic and they will eat their young. Since the guppy is a live bearer and they give birth to live young, immediately when they are born, they will get eaten by the parents if they do not have hiding places. Hence the reason there is hornwort in the other tank. Now, I could technically turn this right in right here into a grow out tank, put a bunch of male and female guppies in here, and they would be perfectly fine. They would breathe, they would give birth, all the babies would be good in here, but that's not what's happening. What's going on in here, like I said, the Paradise Beta is going back in here, as well as a few more of the Neon Tetra. I'm gonna look and see. I really like the black Neon Tetra. I don't know if you guys have seen those, but I really like those. I wanna look and see if those black Neon Tetra and the just standard Neon Tetra are compatible with one another and if they will school together. If they will not, I'm gonna stick with just the regular Neon Tetras. If they will school together, then I may mix them up with some black Neon Tetras as well as some Neon Tetras. So we'll see about that. Stay tuned for all of that. That's coming soon. Now, let's check on the other fish real quick. So, we have the original betta, and this betta is so pretty. So, everything is good in here. The neon tetra are all good. Everything looks good in there. We saw the guppies. We have a new plant in here. I'm not sure what this plant is called, but that was left over. I was gonna put that in the 10 gallon tank over there, but there's just way too many plants in there already. So we're gonna leave that one in here. We're gonna plant it. We have old Zekli, we have Billy, and then we have the new angel fish. Look at him. We haven't named that yet. Comment below and let me know what you think we should name the new angel fish. I think that the new angel fish is really cool. It's almost all black, which is really, really cool. So yeah, definitely let me know. The only fish in here that have names is Zekli, Billy. I wanna name the new angel angel fish and then Mr. Pleco and Chad over here. Here is Mr. Pleco. He is looking really, really good. And Chad back here. Now, I want to know, does anybody know, have any idea where the name Chad came from? Anybody want to guess? Definitely comment below and let me know where the name Chad came from for the feather fin catfish. I have never mentioned this in a video. I have never talked about it. So you don't have to go back and watch old videos. It's going to take you some research to figure out, but why is the feather fin catfish named Chad? Obviously, you know why Mr. Pleco is named Mr. Pleco because Mr. Pleco is a Pleco. We got Zekli was the original fish of the hundred gallon. He is straight up an OG. Like this is the OG right here. Zekli the angelfish. And Zekli the angelfish will actually hand feed. Literally, if I had food on my fingers, he would literally hand feed. Billy has started to hand feed as well. So we have Zekli the OG, we have Billy, we have Mr. Pleco, and we have Chad. Oh, and technically, those are all, Mr. Pleco, Chad, Billy, and Zekli are really the OGs of this entire tank. Everything else is just schooling fish that are in here just for the site. You have the clown loach in here, which is doing really well. I just saw a minute ago these Cory catfish, the albino Cory catfish are looking really well. Oh, it is, look at that. There is the albino red tail shark. That dude is constantly out doing something. He's always back behind, oh, there he goes, he's gone. He's always back behind the background. I don't know what he does back there, just chilling. We are actually gonna tear this tank down as well at one point and clean it out really well. So what I'm having an issue with is these aqua decor 3D backgrounds. These things are completely away from the back of the glass a little bit. And like right here where you have this three-dimensional kind of wood look, if you notice. So back here, oh look, there is the albino red tail shark. He just hangs out back there a lot. So anyway, if you notice, there's a lot of room back there. And where this extends out, that is all open back there. So what happens is, there is not a lot of water flow back here that allows the bacteria and everything else that gets back there to move towards the filter. I have two options. I can add another filter to this side in there that will suck the water up and spit it out over the top, which I may do that. I can do that, but also a subscriber had commented on a video and they said that one of the ways that you can prevent that buildup, they said they had the same issue, is that you can actually put a bubble wall back there, which consists of just simply, you know, putting tubing at the bottom of the tank, which releases bubbles up through the back of the tank and will actually move the water up, allowing for better circulation behind the background. So I'm gonna do some research on that and 
decide what I'm going to do. Is it going to be a bubble wall or is it going to be another filter? But stay tuned for that. You guys will see that in a video coming up as well. I do like the idea of a bubble wall. I did some research on them and I saw one just in a tank. There's no background. It's just literally shooting bubbles up the back of the tank. It was just awesome looking. I mean, it truly was. I think I'm going to do a tank with that. I may do that inside of a cichlid tank. I've been thinking about building a cichlid tank out. Just some rock. Just a very base kind of build on a cichlid tank. They definitely like rocks, but I love cichlids. I love watching them. They're very interactive with humans back and forth in the tank have a lot of personality and you know they're territorial uh, I'm gonna be doing that soon I'm also coming very very soon will be probably a 55 or a 60 gallon tank build out that will have a predator fish in it so what I want all of you to do comment below let me know what would you like to see in a predator tank as long as it's legal in the state of Texas and piranha are not legal in the state of Texas so <laughs> Can't do that. Anyway, comment below and let me know. So that is, hey bro, what are you, what are you doing? Hello. Like, I don't even know what Max is doing over here. He's just like, I don't even know. So anyway, yeah, giveaway at 10K. We are almost at 10,000 subscribers. There's less than 2,000, I think, at this point. So I'm gonna be doing a giveaway at 10K. Do you guys want to partake in the giveaway at 10K? Do you want a giveaway at 10K? And what kind of things would you like to see given away? what would you like right i'm going to ask you this first this time instead of just choosing what i'm going to give away so what would you think would be a good thing to give as a giveaway at 10,000 subscribers let me know comment that below and i will let you know when we're going to start that and what videos you need to comment on and how you're going to enter and all of those kinds of things so definitely let me know in the comments and hey if you guys like this video and you like the content definitely click like on this video let me know that i appreciate all of the support i appreciate all of the subscriptions if you have not hit the like button or you have not subscribed please do that now i mean like literally right now it takes two seconds you can hit the little face in the bottom right hand corner that looks like me because i'm bald and it i mean it looks just like me just right down here actually i think if i point down here it's actually on this side so anyway it's either so they're over here or it's over here i, I don't know so anyway, there's a little head that looks just like me. Click that, hit subscribe if you haven't done that already. There's a little thumbs up right down here or right down over here somewhere. Hit that as well right now, please. Definitely do that for me. I really, really appreciate it. And this little dude right here appreciates it too. He really is starting to enjoy this YouTube thing. Again, he had kind of fallen off a little bit and didn't really want to participate too much. So I continued the channel on my own, but you're definitely gonna be seeing a lot more of little old Max Robert in these videos. So please make sure that you like, Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you comment below what kind of videos, any type of ideas, things you'd like to see on this channel going forward, and we will definitely make that stuff happen. If you have not seen yet, we flew to New York to surprise a subscriber with a To surprise a subscriber with a fish. Now, you're probably wondering, wait a minute, you just started that sentence outside, now you're inside. Yes, you're right, because my camera died and I had to charge the battery. That was also at like 5 o'clock this afternoon. It is now 10.59 p.m. Yeah, so we did. We flew to New York to surprise a subscriber with a fish. New York for a $15 better. Yeah, that's right. That's the kind of stuff we do over here. Definitely make sure you stay tuned. Now, oh, you want to say something? Okay, come here. Sit right here. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. Hopefully you enjoy the content. Hopefully you enjoy all of what we're doing. We definitely have a great time doing it. And with that being said, little Max Robert here has something to say to you. If you haven't subscribed to our channel and followed us on Instagram, do that now. That's right. And Lil Max Robert has an Instagram as well. We also have a Facebook now, and the Facebook is under Christopher Scott. It's under Pages, and if you would like to go follow us there as well, we definitely post other content there. If you do not have Instagram, but you do have Facebook, that would be a great place for you to go because everything that goes on Instagram also goes on Facebook, but there's also exclusive content per social media platform. So make sure you follow us everywhere you possibly can. As far as the Facebook goes, the link will be in the description for Facebook, for Instagram, for Max's Instagram, for everything. Max has like, what do you have, like 150, 160 followers at this point? Something like that. Uh, definitely go like his page as well. But with that being said, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.